I'm Candace Sciencebar with Color to Fast Pitch Academy. Today, I will be showing you a proper warm up routine for a fast pitch softball pitcher. Warming up before throwing full speed is incredibly important to make sure that you prevent injury. Stretching is equally important, so you do want to make sure that you reference that as well. To begin, get the grip that you have been taught to do for a fastball. Most people use a four seam grip where the four fingers are on the top seam with the thumb on the opposing side. Have your catcher only a few feet away from you so that you are not trying to throw it hard, but simply work on your snap. Stand in an open position. Open would mean that your belly button would be facing where the third baseman would be if you are a right-handed pitcher. If you're left-handed, your belly button would be facing where the first baseman would be. Place your palm so it is in fact still facing your catcher. Even though we're open, we're still going to be throwing it forward. Place your wrist back and your arm at your side. Snap the opposing side, letting go of the ball, and making sure that your wrist completely points upward towards your face. When you're done, your arm should be underneath your belly button. You should repeat these snaps for at least 25 to not only warm up your wrist, but also to reiterate proper snap in your pitch. After completing those 25 snaps, the next step is to move your catcher further away from you. At this point, your catcher now is going to be more about 7 feet, maybe 10 feet, away from you. For this step, you're going to face your catcher head on as if you are standing on a mound. You'll place your wrist back so that you can begin your pitch the same way you would a normal fastball. As you step, make your L and rotate your palm over the top. Make sure that your pitching hand is facing behind you towards where second base would be and that your body has fully opened as you attempt to make the L position with your arms. When you go to follow through, let go and follow through to your shoulder. Drag your back foot forward to meet your step foot so that your feet finish next to one another. If you've been taught a big stride and a big kick back, if you've been taught a rock in your pitch, none of those things are supposed to happen at this time simply because of the fact that they are designed to make you pitch faster. And during this stage of your warm-up routine, we want to take our time. I recommend that you do at least 10 of these very slow pitches with the pause to help really loosen up those muscles. After you complete these 10, then you will once again have your catcher move further away from you. At this point, your catcher should now be 10 to 15 feet away from you. You are now capable of going faster because your catcher is further away. You no longer have to pause in your L, but you still should not be trying to throw full speed or do any full rock or kickback. These pitches are supposed to be comfortable and relaxed, but at a faster speed so that it still makes it to your catcher. After you complete 10 of these, go back to full distance, do your full pitch, full rock, full stride, even a kickback if you have one, but don't quite pitch full speed. Go at about 80% of full speed. This allows for your body to still get used to the idea of going faster, but with the full pitch. After completing 10 of these, then you should be ready to go full speed. There are several variances to how a person will warm up. Often pitching coaches will teach you to do K's or half pitches, walkthroughs, one knee drills. All of those are great if they're designed for the right pitcher. Before starting to add any of these more fancy type of warm ups, make sure that they're designed specifically for the way you're being taught to pitch. No 
no one can truly help you more than your own fishing coach. If you don't have one and you need more help, you can refer to my website, www.softballlessons.com.